What's up, Scrollers? It's Nerp here, and luckily, I just found Foliage online. He accepted my challenge, so I'll have a game right now. I'm gonna be playing against some um, Decay here. Guess I'll get rid of the Mangy Wolf, seeing as I have turn two and a better turn three play than a Mangy Wolf. So. I actually was going to surprise you all with a ranked match video today uh, and use my old thumbnail, like whatever, the next episode would be like 80 something. Um, and I found a match, ranked match eventually, but it was against like a very new player and it wasn't, wouldn't be a very entertaining game because he uh, was just, uh, or I wouldn't say new, he was actually coming back to the game after two years, uh, but definitely just knew the basics of scrolls and it wasn't a very fair matchup, so it wouldn't be a very entertaining video. Um, but the reason why I'm bringing this up was because because it was uh, it was kind of interesting. I uh, see when I uh, offered him like gold and cards because I have no use for all this extra stuff I have. Uh, rather that other people can enjoy. Um, he was. I thought it would just you just turn away from it immediately because the game is dying. But he was decently interested I think so that was uh good to see um hmm I just got rid of a wetland ranger for the stripe thing there would it be silly me if I switched it around this time I'm gonna do that okay at least he languided this so it's like doesn't hurt us that that much when it gets a little stolen I don't know if I'd call myself the best girls player ever. Maybe the best ranked player ever. Uh, did not have the same success in tournaments. Besides, um, besides the Minecon Open before that, I mean, I, Minecon was like one of the most important ones because I won that painting and all that. But and the qualifiers for that. But besides that, I only won like I think two or three ESL tournaments. So best ranked player ever. I'll give him that, but. I don't think I'm the best rolls player ever. Okay, so this is gonna die. May as well deal damage to middle idol. Uh, may as well deal damage there. And where do I want to put this? I guess I can go next to my things. I mean, it's decay. It's not like energy. Unless he has like a, uh, what's it called? A mire or whatever? Thing that deals poison damage and like a, a things adjacent to a unit. I forgot what these cards are called. Okay, goodbye, Great Wolf. Um, now, do I want to get more attack next turn or destroy this? I think I want to destroy this. Because I don't have anything. Actually, no, I'm going to get more attack next turn. It seems like more reasonable ideas then this thing which will likely be able to attack next turn because he's probably gonna play something um, I'm actually itching my leg right now it's probably not smart I have a huge bug bite on my, the back of my upper right calf it's really annoying I'm out of cards that's what happens when you have a great curve and you just uh, play something every single turn okay there's the remnant and now I kind of regret not killing this because I'd much rather hit the other one now. Um, now I wish I had the Menher. Uh, the Menher is definitely good against Decay, so I kind of wanted to keep hold of that. Um, rather than losing something, I guess I'm going to kill it. And I'll play the Kinful Grave. Not going to empty my hand though. I don't know why I'm positioning so weird. So everything's attacking next turn. I'm gonna be able to increase my attack with my. Oh, that's stupid. I should have played the spotted links, seeing as. Yeah, I should have played the spotted links because I already have a beast cat on the board right now, so I'm not gonna get any extra attack. Well, 
This is interesting. Let's see if we can get something that doesn't share a type. A wolf doesn't share a type. So I play the wolf. Um, you go to two attack. You go to three attack. Well, you have relentless, so you go to five attack. Five attack relentless. Put that up there. Um, yeah. And I will go ahead and Oh no, is that the best play to do this? Not clearing the board, but taking out most of his things and still getting the boost from the ranger. Well, I have a big board. Um, I don't know what he's going to be able to get rid of it with. Is this like, no idea what, what kind of deck this is. Cross scale. Turn to nature. What kind of deck is this? This is like old school, like... Okay, well that kind of hurts, I guess. Um, do I really want to play Manher? With he probably has Quakes in the deck, so don't really want to play Manher. I think I'll hold on to my other things. Um, Mangy Wolf or Kinfolk Veteran? I have three Kinfolk Veterans. I think I'm gonna go with the Mangy Wolf though. Yeah, Mangy Wolf time, because I want to get rid of this row here while I can. Okay, so it's gonna deal three damage there. Let's take a middle idol. Why not? And I guess I shouldn't be in a return to nature thing. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I have, yeah, it's not like he has like four return to natures right now. Okay, so whatever he puts down, he can be met with a kinfolk King King veteran. Okay, and a languid. So that would make that thing return to nature able. So that is return to nature able. Hmm. I'll get rid of one kinfolk veteran. I don't think I think three is a little excessive. So I can actually increase my attack kind of well here. Um, I will play kinfolk veteran this turn. We'll play ragged wolf and kinfolk veteran. I'll have a two attack ragged wolf. Three attack veteran, right? A four attack veteran. I think I have to say that for next turn there, right? Yeah. You hold on to my multiple types for next turn. I'm just gonna play the veteran this turn, I think. So hit that. I'm gonna hit this idol actually. So you're gonna go to six attack. And I'm gonna hold on to my other stuff because I can go to seven next turn if this thing somehow manages to survive. That means I can get like a really good playoff. So put a lot of pressure on him destroying it. I'm actually gonna hide behind it though here because Yeah, I'm gonna hide behind it there. Cause I don't want him I guess still actually return to nature. It turns into your Kindle gutter and really hurts. What? Hopefully he doesn't have one of those. I, I, I probably should have been more aggressive there and played a Ragged Wolf. Unless somehow the Niara survives this turn. Oh, the Niara survives. That was... Is that going to be game then? That is going to be game, I think. I just have to go with a Ragged Wolf. A... Kinfolk Veteran. Alright. Oh, I already have one of those. And a U. Ah, oh, I messed that up. I'm so stupid. <laughs> that was. <laughs> I screwed that up. Um. Well. Uh, had lethal, and I mispositioned everything. Let's. Mm. 
be weird about this. Okay, I'm gonna get Return to Angel Miniara and my Vetter here, I think. Ugh. I guess this is fine. So I'm gonna be leaving a bunch of really low health idols, which will make his defenses be split. Okay, let's top like a rally. I guess a rally wouldn't really help right now that much. Well, that could have lost me the game now. Hopefully it doesn't. Um, Totem Vindicator. Hmm. I'm going to play the Totem and the Vindicator. So hopefully I can play the Rumble next turn. Nope, he had another quake. I was really hoping there was another quake. Oh god, I lost this game because of that misplay, didn't I? <laughs> because I clicked on. It's a pretty epic misplay. <laughs> Did I lose this game because of that? I gotta keep the rumble, right? Yeah, he's not playing any humans either. Okay. That was bad. Missed lethal. <laughs> this is one of the games I'd be so mad at myself if I lost when uh, back when I played a lot of ranked and the game has really mattered. I already used a couple of ragged wolves too. Okay, so the overgrown men hurt. Maybe I can get something going here. Let's just. I'm gonna put it like. What do I want to put? Because I don't want this to be able to move up and kill it yet. Yeah, I'll just put it right in the middle, actually. Put the Fang Bear right there. So the Fang Bear will attack next turn with relentless damage. Um, ideally, I can get some one count on things to play next turn to maybe squeak something out. Probably should have destroyed an idol instead of leaving two two of those. I thought that would be better because it would be harder for him to protect idols, but I already sacrificed, I already used slash sacrificed three kinfolk veterans, I think. Uh, and there's another damage curse, that's annoying. Well, let's get two braves. <laughs> and a rat king. I think I lost. Not to good, not to good. Gotta keep that rumble. Well, Niara, do I protect that? No, I can't let, can't let Niara die. Okay. So, Earthenmirth Rumble. He definitely does not have another damage curse. So, Earthenmirth Rumble, Yarl. What? <laughs> There's a Yarl. Okay. So you see if I destroyed if I so many misplays. Not only that I misclick, but I then I consciously made a mistake of putting two idols at two health instead of that. Okay, can I destroy an idol this turn? Rumble There's the brave now to work with that. So, Rumble Earthen Mirth. Earthen Mirth would give you eight attack. Eight attack. I don't even need the Rumble this turn. So let's get rid of the. Uh... Oh, do I get rid of the Rumble? No, I can't get rid of the Rumble. Earthen Mirth is good too if I can get that on the Ragged Wolf. Maybe win the game. I think I have to get rid of the Brave here. Although, no, I can't get rid of the Brave. The Brave is everything. That's annoying. I gotta keep the Earth Mirth. Gotta keep the Rumble. Let's, uh. Let's get rid of the. He definitely has a God Hand, that's the thing. So, in that case, let's get rid of the Brave, I think. Double Earth and Mirth. Okay, so let's just go with an Earth and Mirth. Take Top Idol. 
and then play a brave down here. I know I could have taken, I may have been able to take out the Arl, but I think it's more important that I... Okay. So, now I have to place my Nyara. Hopefully some essence feast. What? That <laughs> just heals idols. Okay, so he's. I can get a lucky rumble if I'm really, really, really lucky. Uh, that's also what I'm not gonna really work. Um. Hmm. I guess I just play the Niara this turn. Niara comes down. Kinfolk Veteran, Varus, well, <laughs> me missing that leave, I'll certainly gets, uh, lets him show off his deck, he has Champions Galore, Ugh, okay, top deck, see, if I top deck a Veteran, if I top deck a Veteran there, if I didn't have those three veter Veterans of four, could have gotten a lucky Rumble Veteran for the win. Um, <laughs> get rid of, I guess, this. Rallies. Rallies, rallies, rallies. Unfortunately, nothing's gonna survive now, so I just play things and I hope things go well. Ideally, maybe this steel would survive, so it shouldn't for any reason because he could attack it with the Myra Shambler. But then I can go for a rally, rumble, and win the game on this side. Fertile soil. Like a ragged wolf actually would give me a chance at winning because a rumble, earthen mirth, ragged wolf would be a five attack ragged wolf, which would destroy either of these idols. So looking for a ragged wolf or a kinfolk veteran, I don't think there's another kinfolk veteran. There might not be another ragged wolf either. I may have already had my three ragged wolves as well. I'm not sure. Does he have lethal? Well, he can't play rally this turn or anything, so I don't think he has lethal. Fertile soil again. Okay, well, that's a lot of cards. Definitely has a god hand now if he has it in his deck, which it seems like his deck would have a god hand for the for the wins. And his Varus is about to get a big attack total. Yes. Okay. So. I could win the game if I have a lucky. Is it even possible for me to win the game? Be very unlikely that nothing goes on this row. Very unlikely, and I couldn't sacrifice cards either. So that'd be that'd be bad. I would be sacrificing my chance at drawing a ragged wolf. I don't know if there is a ragged wolf. If I counted my cards here, I guess. Oh wait, I guess I would still take a lucky rumble. So. Let's do it. I'll do the rally first, just so it's uh, more suspenseful. <laughs> Here we go. Ah. <laughs> That's funny. Plays like that and scrolls bring a smile to my face. <laughs> it's probably stupid to do the rally with the rumble. Should have the win now. Really, no win yet. I guess he doesn't really have. Well, I'm gonna need another. another rumble, which probably sacrificed. Oops! Oblivion Seeker. 
The lighting. Oh my god. If somebody wants to do the math. I wonder how, what the actual chance of me winning the game was on that rumble. What was the odds of this row being cleared? Oh, I, no, no, it doesn't, doesn't matter. I mean, I had the Ragged Wolf next, but I still need a rumble. So, that's going to be three. Well, he can't win on the board. Actually, yes, he can. He can win very easily on the board. So, I have to protect an idol. Uh, let's protect middle idol. Play the Great Wolf. Hoping for my last rumble if it's even there. <sighs> oh, it is lethal actually. Did not even realize that. Or er, no, not really. Oh well, there's an echo again. GGWP. So we're already at 21 minutes in the video. Uh, so I'm gonna actually play this aggro growth deck again. Uh, I noticed on my channel that there wasn't a lot of uh, aggroth recently. It was more just uh, I play more late game decks. Been playing more like late game order, decay, stuff like that. And the faction I played the least since I came back was growth. So let's go ahead and do the same deck. Um, and hopefully this time I don't. Miss Lethal and screw up. Are we getting another match here? Should I go with my aggro? Th oh. I'd like a deck tech of this for against the K decks, but okay, that's a good hand. Because Menher is so good against the guy. And I think this is the same deck. Well, I mean, this actually. Uh, he's playing like a growth variant to it, so that's not that good. Ripper. Well, if you don't have a, if you don't have a Languid, you're kind of screwed. Uh, what do I get rid of? I think the better goes. It just gets destroyed so easily. So, no Languid and you're screwed. Yes, Languid, and I'm screwed okay no languid but there's that thing which does poison me okay um, I'm gonna get rid of a veteran because veterans don't really work well with overgrown manhurs and two overgrown manhurs are so good so this is gonna get poisoned regardless so gonna keep it in the middle here How do I want to do this? Do I put this man her right here? Um, yes, I do, right? Actually, no, I don't. I'm putting it down here. Okay, so goodbye, brave, in a couple turns, or or the that thing could just hit right into it. Hmm. Husk. Ripper. Okay. So. You know, Decay has nothing to deal with structures besides Unbind, which I actually learned the hard way in my last video against Chief Romden. <laughs> but you guys remember that with On the Forge? But, he can't do anything to start to know, so I could play another Overgrown Menher and then get a guaranteed Steelwood to attack next turn with 4 Relentless Attack. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to get rid of the Kinfolk Veteran, I think, for cards. Great Wolf, that's attractive as well. I can make a better attack too. So we're going to go with another Menher. Um, back here, I guess. Yeah, I guess back here. I mean, it makes me very vulnerable, though. Like, I have nothing in the board but two men here. 
Ideally, he, uh, he puts those two rippers lined up. Okay. And a scavenger construct. What's... What is this? That's not good for me at all. Um... Hmm. So I could steal with Vindicator this turn and get rid of those two. Uh, I could steal with Vindicator. I can't get rid of the Scavenger Contract at all. So let's just get rid of the Better of the Wild. Although it would attack, it wouldn't really do me much good. Um, I'll just go back to back Great Wolves after this turn. Problem is, I'd be facing down Poison to the face. And now he's a 7 health thing right there. So he can kind of put anything he wants behind it. Might lose twice in this video. Could very well lose twice. I haven't faced one of these decks in forever. Okay. So, here we go. Um, why don't I... Do I take this out? Do I really take this out? And get poison on my great wolf. No, I don't think I do. And he draws a card. So, if he doesn't protect himself there. Okay, he's out of cards, but he's going to get some more cards right now. Um. I could go with another Great Wolf for 4 attack, so I could clear here again. This cannot poison me by hitting me, so that's good. I'll get rid of the Ranger, I don't need that when my things are attacking every turn regardless. Uh, so I can go for a, a Recluse would deal 3 damage. Now I want to get rid of the Ripper. Um, so Great Wolf right there. And... He's probably not going to draw, like, a... He has no cards. I can't really think he's going to draw anything to kill this Great Wolf. So, let's just move up. Right into his face. This is a really fun game, I think. And I'm poisoned there. Okay. So, hopefully there's no curse coming my way. Unfortunately, the Stone Recluse does not have a Muntless out of the gate, and he's pillaged to do that, so that won't be too good. Um, my Ragged Wolf, the haste is kind of like whatever when a lot of my, anything I have would be haste. Okay. Um, the Animivore now is really hard to get rid of. I wish I had a Rumble. Okay. So, Niara can attack this coming turn. That can get to that can be six attack, no four attack, four and four. Um, how do I want to do this? Let's go ahead. Take things out while we can. I'm gonna get rid of the stone recluse. I think, although I don't know. Ragged wolf. Is it just a decimal damage curse could be using my Niara? I'm gonna keep the Ragged Wolf. I, I love Ragged Wolf. Well, that would be. Oh, that would have haste too. Crap, crap, crap. Um. So I think I take out that. And then I. I gotta protect this. I can't let that not be protected. So I move this up. Play the Niara. Move it down here, I guess. And it's poison right away, of course. Really wish that. I really wish the poison would go on this Great Wolf. So that's pretty good value. Oh, that hurts a lot. Now that's gonna. He's gonna destroy that. But, you know, I didn't lose this game. 
it's okay. Still alive. Uh, Ragged Wolf now, not so good. I don't think so. I'm going to get rid of it. Why do I even have Creeper Keeper Pledge in this deck? I have no idea. Um, unfortunately, no Mangy Wolf here. So that's going to be the play this turn. I could play the Keeper Pledge, but I don't think that would be too good. So he currently doesn't have anything in front of that Animavort thing. I wish I could get rid of it. I doubt I'm going to be able to. Maybe he just has to put something in right now. What is he going to put there? Elmire Tribesman in front of there. And then a Infested Husk in front of there. The third Infested Husk. Man, those are a pain in my butt. So, um, Keeper's Pledge. Keeper's Pledge, when creature comes into play, other creatures on that side get plus one attack until end of turn. So, Keeper's Pledge means I would get a, uh, my Ragged Wolf had a two attack, right? These would have five attack. Six, this was six attack. So two attack, six attack, ugh. Does that work? Keeper's Pledge? I don't think Keeper's Pledge is what I want to do here. The Anima of War is just too good. Let's get rid of the Keeper's Pledge. Um, so I hit that. Destroy it. I kill this. Don't get poisoned yet. Try not to draw him that many cards. Um, and then I can... Recluse, but why would I want to recluse? Remind me. I can just wetland ranger. I'll wetland ranger. Get that thing going. Oh, I guess. I could take out the scavenger contract while I can. Nah, I want to take out the bog hound. Forgot everything would have more attack. That was a bit of a mistake by me. Um. Maybe I misplayed that. So let's see. We're on par in cards and resources. Watcher. Even though it seems like he's gotten good value plays against me so far, I think my deck is just like. Even though it seems aggro, it's just like it feels like it's outlasting him for some reason. So. That's two attack. I can get it to three attack easily to take out this infested husk. Don't want to do that though. I don't want to lose the Niara. Um, what a unit. Okay, so we don't want to take out the Watcher. Save the Ragged Wolf. Save the. I'll get rid of the Stone Recluse. Hmm. I think it's Fang Bear time. Fang Bear Vetter. Or just Fang Bear. It's just Fang Bear time. And yeah. And I'll put three damage in on this construct. And I'll save everything else. Okay, so he really needs to take care of the Niara, and if he doesn't, I can just do my own Niara plus a Ragged Wolf and give everything a lot of attack. So there's a Soul Steal on the Niara. And now. As long as that little darkness there, my bear does have a monstrous attack, so. Let's see. Niara Vetter or Niara Ragged? I want to take this thing out. So. Niara. So everything. This would have two attack, five attack, four attack. So I need eleven damage here to be able to destroy that. That's quite a bit. No, more than eleven. I need fourteen damage to destroy this, right? Yeah. Can I get fourteen? That's so that's gonna be four. That's gonna be five. That's no, I don't. I can't destroy that the construct there. 
crap. Um, I think I do this stuff anyways, though. Because what else is there to do? Get rid of a... I think get rid of the rally, because that Earth and Earth looks really nice to me. Um, so I Niara. I think I do hit the construct, because I got to take out the construct eventually. Keep the little dark one so I have that there. Um, I guess I hit this construct while I can. Oh, no, I have to play the Niara first. Was that smart? Leave my Niara open like that? I don't know. Interesting game. Very interesting. Maybe I should have kept that rally. I'm not sure. Well, that gives him a card, destroying that thing. Languid on my Niara, fine. Soul Steel on that dude. And. Rhythm Earth double ragged. Well, I feel like Earth and Earth on this right now would be pretty good. Although, Double Ragged is really good with Nyara, so I think I'm going to keep the Double Ragged. Love Ragged Wolf. So, Kinfolk Veteran is good. Kinfolk Veteran can deal lots of damage. Yeah, I think that's the play. And then I can hit the idol with this, and I have a lot of things going to attack next turn. So, that would be good. And I'm gonna go ahead and not draw on the card. Oh, actually. That's kinda stupid. Can I actually take out the construct? I think I can. This would be three attack, this would be four attack. That's uh that's six. Yeah, I think I should uh I think I can take out the construct. I believe I can. So we're gonna go with a ragged wolf, ragged wolf, and a veteran. That's good. I think that was the right play. Pretty perfect actually. And now, see what Foliage is going to be able to do. GGWP. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know if he's surrendering, actually. I think that was just a good play. Good thing I saw that. So I have another Niara if he goes ahead and dam curses or something. Um, Necro. Necro, I guess, starts a little bit. At least he didn't have an Anima War around it. T goes ahead and takes out the Niara. Which, okay, fine. I have a Niara to play right back at you. Niara number three. <laughs> um, so I want to hit the Idol again, I think. I'll definitely, I think, take out the Watcher. And one of these dudes. Hit the idol, play a Niara. Niara number three. Okay, so weird game. Felt like I was behind, but all of a sudden I'm ahead. With things attacking. Okay, hopefully no damage curse. There is a damage curse. So goodbye, Niara number three. Um, I'll. Ancestral Stone, I'm very good against Decay. Probably should keep that. I'll get rid of the Steelwood Champion because I'm not going to play it this turn. Or, actually, maybe I should. No, Ancestral Stone is going to give this uh, enough attack to keep going. So, I'll get rid of the Steelwood Champion. Just considering. Yeah. Um, so, it's just going to be an Ancestral Stone, I think, this turn. Ancestral Totem, and I guess hold on to my other things. Um, could just take out an idol here. 
Do I really want to waste five attack? Yeah, actually, yeah, I'm gonna clear his board. I don't like your board. I want to clear it. Okay, so cleared board. I have things on the board. Only one thing that's soul sealable, and I have the two growth structures to uh, push my opponent away. I apologize for the extra long video. I probably um, shouldn't have gotten into all these matches, but oh well. Double brain lice. Oh, another men her men her men her. Rumble is good, but he has nothing on the board right now. So I'll go ahead and just put another men her down. I think I'm gonna mangy. Right. Mangy, this is going to attack. Well, this is going to attack. It's going to have three attack. Is no. This is going to have, have three attack. Is there any way I can destroy this idol? I don't think so. And now I can heal four there. I'll just put more idol damage down. Okay, so not too bad there. It's really clutch. I was able to keep the uh, keep the wetland ranger going by having um, uh, ancestor sort of bog hound watcher construct guy that uses his whole hand. I do have a rally. Um, does a rally win the game? I don't believe so. Hopefully Rally wins the game. Rally would do some damage, that's for sure. I think I will do a Rally though. Yeah, I'm gonna do a Rally. Or not, I don't know. It's tough. Yeah, I'm not gonna Rally. I'll go like this. I want to destroy. Let's see, can I have six attack? Let's see, the steel would vit. No, I don't want that to die to poison so quickly. Okay, so I'll go with the uh, steel wood vindicator and an ancestral totem. So six attack there clears the row. And I will go ahead and give myself. Oh, that attacks first. Crap, I messed it up. If I thought I did the law out of order, this was supposed to attack before my veteran. Misplays, misplays, misplays. Should be good to go though. He only has two cards, and I can attack with Spot Links, even though it has three counts on, because um, the Menhurs will get it down to rally range. What does it mean by final decider? Not sure what a final decider means exactly. Maybe I have lethal next turn. Because I have a 7 attack relentless that's going to attack with a rally. So, probably a lethal. Yes! Um, let's get this one. Yes, it is! A uh, 576! Alright, sorry about that. Um, but the video, unfortunately, will have to cut off here. I'm not going to make an hour-long video, so... 
Thank you for watching. Like, the, actually, you know what? Let's have the third match. Final decider. He's right. Final decider. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Um, let's make it another quick one. <laughs> Let's sp spice it up a little. Looks like he plays Decay. We'll go aggro first Decay. Hopefully, um... <laughs> this is okay. Uh, do I keep this in? I guess so. Don't really have a turn... Turn three play, unfortunately, but yeah, playing this deck again. Well, there's a turn three play. I'll get rid of the thing there. Oh, next turn, I can play Ragged Wolf and Vetter, maybe. Okay, that's gonna survive one more turn at least. Go by Fang Bear and Hello Vetter the Wild. Okay, I know he has. Okay, I'm gonna be. Do, I'm gonna do something a little different here. I know, knowing that there's Return to Nature in his deck, I'm not gonna put those next uh, in a Return to Nature zone because he he probably has. I think he has Ragged Wolves and Frost Scales as well. Actually, he probably wouldn't have been able to play that last turn though. Um, but now I'm gonna be able to play Great Wolf. Ooh, Double Button Ranger. I think I'm gonna get rid of the Ragged Wolf. The more big threats I can play, the better. That is kind of how it works. Um, screw it. I'm putting that there. <laughs> the more big threats. So against the cats, what you gotta do? They only have because they only have three um three things, three damage curses. Uh, so now I play Wetland Ranger. Do I take this out now? No, I don't think I do. Fortunately, these are going to be in a Return to Nature zone. Let's do it like this. Just didn't want to waste some damage on there and give him a card earlier. In the early game, don't want him to have that many cards. Okay, see, look, that was perfect. So now, get rid of the Nog. I have Nogs in this deck. Uh, ooh, Steelwood Champion is not too bad here. Instead of Wetland Ranger, it it's cool. <laughs> it gets a bunch of things to have more attack. Um, What if I have the Wellen Ranger here? I think Wellen Ranger is better. Yeah, it probably is. Wetland Ranger. Seeing as I would get the other Wetland Ranger boost. Okay, so I'm pretty well set up here. Um, I do uh, get taken out with some. Kinfolk Veterans and Frost Scale Quakes, Return to Nature kind of things, but not a lot. Not a lot I can do about that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and play. Uh, hmm. Veteran doesn't seem too bad. I could go with the Steel of Champions to take out Middle Idol. Though. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Straight Thing there. Eh. I'll go to five though, cause I have no reason to keep going for cards right now. Um, hmm, he's gonna be able to go to five to next turn, so he can't double return to nature to me, but he could do a frost scale return to nature. I mean, I can't really get all my guys out of the radius. Let's do it like this. I don't know how effective this is. <laughs> At least the great wolf's not with the front, the front dude. Okay, so first idol taken out, and I can actually make that six, six attack attack. Hmm. 
Okay, I don't think I rally. That's not the play, I don't think. I actually will get rid of a rumble. Mm. Nah, I'll get rid of a veteran. Rumble too strong. Veteran or totem? Veteran or totem? Veteran or totem? See, I could, ragged, I could rally here. Nah, I can't rally. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna put down a veteran right over here. I know it's kind of weird to take. Oh, I'm in a perfect return to nature. I know it's kind of weird uh, that I took him out, took out his little thing when it dies to a frost scale or a quake, but. And there's Quake. But that's going to be game. Well played. I won 2 3 versus the Foliage. Could have won the first one if I didn't miss Lethal, though. So, thank you all for watching. Hopefully, the hour long video didn't bore you. Um, and subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time.